The SAT is hard because it's a time test. I'm gonna show you today some strategies and shortcuts you can take to shred some time off of your test. Check out these four harder algebra questions. I guarantee one of them is going to show up similarly. Hope it helps, let's get to work. All right, let's just jump into number one. Which one is equivalent to the expression above? If I were to distribute this, that's gonna get me x squared. x times negative five is negative five x. This is three x positive. I like to combine like terms vertically because it's easier to organize. And the last part is all that we need for this problem. That's gonna be negative 15. Negative 15 is the number I want to pay attention to, which represents my constant. So choices A, B, C, D has to have that same constant negative 15. We don't even need to do the full problem, guys. There's no time for it. But I will show you A. I'm gonna do A a little longer so you know where the shortcut's coming from. If I take that part, right, that means I gotta distribute that binomial twice. And the last part of my distributive property, I can do all of that, but that's just a waste of time for this problem. All I need is that blue part right here, where I end up doing one times one, or I end up just squaring that number. One squared is one. I mean, I'm just gonna do it for you so it's easier to explain. That's gonna give me x squared plus two x plus one, and then I gotta do minus 14, right? So if I do one minus 14, my constant is negative 13, which doesn't match my expression, so I know A is wrong. So if I look at B, Again, all I gotta do is square that part. That's gonna be positive one, and then minus 12, coming from this part. And that's obviously not gonna be it, because that's negative 11, so that's wrong. So some of these questions, you don't gotta do the whole thing, because there's no time for it. Looking at letter C, if I square this yellow part, that will get me positive one, minus 16, which equals negative 15. But if you're a little paranoid like me, I'm always paranoid, you might as well check the last one because it's not even that hard to do. I mean, you can do it in your head, plus four minus 12, that's gonna get me negative eight. So the only one that makes sense is letter C. Don't even try to distribute all of it. There is no time for it, guys. Let's try out number two. Another equivalent expression above. This one you do have to distribute all of it. There's not a cool shortcut like question number one. And we're starting off with two times five X, that's 10 X. 2 times 2, positive 4, and then negative 5 times 5x. If that's not like terms with anything else, just put it on the side like this. Negative 25x squared, negative 5x times 2, negative 10x. You can kind of see that these 10x's are going to cancel, because one's positive and negative, and all I'm left with is negative 25x squared and a positive 4 which makes choice B the correct answer. So no shortcut for that one, but at least you know how to organize it better. For question three, this one's got a pretty cool shortcut. Here it is. Another equivalent expression. They just love to ask those. I guarantee one of them's gonna show up. Pay attention to the exponents of the original expression, right? One's got x squared, one's got y squared, and this xy right here. If I test out A, that means that whatever's in the parentheses, if it's squared, is going to have to be multiplied to itself twice, just like that. And if I do that first move right here, that off the bat will tell me if that's right or not. Because 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x to the fourth though. And this one has 4x squared. Nothing else is gonna get me 4x to the fourth power when I do the rest. And that skill, you really have to have to be able to do it in your head because it will save you a lot of time on the SAT. So I know A is going to be wrong. And for the same reason, B, if you do that same thing, because you're gonna have to multiply that to itself twice, that's also gonna get me four X to the fourth power. So you know that that one's wrong. And this one's a little harder to see, but you can tell it's wrong. I'm just gonna write it out for you so it's easier to explain. 2x minus 3y squared, if I do that twice, right? And I distribute. I'm not gonna do all of that. This last part right here in blue, 
is going to be 9 y to the fourth power. So this one says 9 y squared. So it's kind of like the same reason for a and b. That one is bogus. That one's wrong. You don't even got to test D. That will be your answer. For the non-believers out there, I'm going to do it for you anyways, because seeing is believing. Sometimes I take this shortcut. Since that's squared, I'm just going to erase it and write the binomial twice. So I write less. It probably saves me an extra second, but a second is good. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 3y is negative 6xy. And you can kind of see that it's going to match up my expression above. Negative 6xy once again. And there's my positive 9y squared. Combine like terms and you get the original expression. Moving on to the last one. This one is got a really sweet shortcut. You have to be able to recognize that that yellow part is a difference of squares. So knowing that if you are able to recognize it, then that is going to turn into x squared minus y squared. Put it in parentheses. And if you look, it's another one. They do this on purpose because they want to make sure that you remember difference of squares. It is another version of difference of squares, but the exponents are different and it's an easy fix. All you got to do is square the square, which will turn that into x4, y4. My answer is D. And if you are a little paranoid, I mean, you can do the first part. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. But just believe me, just trust me on the rest. Just remember difference of squares right here. Like I was saying in the beginning, this practice is to show you that you only have to do some of the problems for some of these questions because there is no time to do the whole thing and there is no time to be paranoid. If this review helped, throw a like, a subscribe. I'll try to make as much SAT practice before the test, but until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.